A welcome back. Hispanic and Latino Heritage Month starts on September 15th and runs until October 15th. The City of Greer Cultural Arts is celebrating with an art exhibition featuring 15 artists. And we have Robin here to tell us more about it. And you brought some friends along with you, some of the featured artists. I did. I'm so excited. We have yes. 14 artists that are participating in our show. And then we'll have one more artist the night of the reception. Okay. I mean, it, this is a big celebration for the City of Greer. This is a big celebration. And yes. uh, I, I want to in, let our artists introduce themselves. I'm Celine Pasquale, and I do fabric collage. Okay. I'm Edith Velasquez, and I do abstract watercolor and acrylic. And I am Norberto Giseno, and my art is just an inspiration of my thoughts coming for life. There's some beautiful pieces, and it's, you guys are going to have this display up for the entire uh, September 15th through October 15th. That is correct. It's on the exhibit now. If you'd like to come Tuesday between 12 and 8, and Saturdays between 10 and 2 to the City of Greer Center for the Arts. And on the October 4th, you guys will have a reception where all of the artists will be there? Hopefully all the artists will be there. <laughs> We're going to have some Hispanic food there. We're going to have some dancers uh, representing different Hispanic and Latino countries. It should be a big bash and a lot of fun. Yes, I, I want to talk to some of the artists about what do you guys want people to get out of this? Obviously, seeing some of your work, maybe they've never seen any of your pieces, but the larger message of inclusion and learning about Hispanic heritage and hi Hispanic culture, why is that so important for you all? Well, because it talks about our background, who we are, you know, and, and the contributions we give to this country and to everybody. You know, art is such a beautiful thing. Our world without art would make no sense. And so it's, it's more about the culture and the art, you know, let people enjoy, make life beautiful. Absolutely. What do you guys want people to get out of this exhibition? I want people to get inspiration and not feel like they have to fall into a certain category of art or any type of technique. They can do whatever they want when they create. Yes, uh, myself I see it like uh, an inspiration that we are bringing to people and uh, the important thing is that I think myself personally is just if some thought is in your mind and I mean you have to bring it out that people can see it, what is your world inside. We all think and do things in life and this is, this is a way to tell the people, I mean we have art of all ethnic mm -hmm. backgrounds and all sorts of arts that we are different techniques that you can see it. And on, on the 4th, uh, October the 4th, will be a great chance to see all the artists in one place. And I always love the conversations that happens between uh, that two. People get the, a chance to ask you questions about your style and how you put things together. So that's always a really, a really cool thing. Uh, does any of this cost money for uh, folks to get into any of this? No, it's absolutely free. It's absolutely free. We want the public to come and, and enjoy the art and learn about different, a different culture mm -hmm. and come see our beautiful new art center enjoy it. Ask yeah. questions. Yeah, and tell us where you guys are located. We are, the Edward R. Drigger City of Greer Center for the Arts is located at 804 Trade Street in Greer. And we're looking at some of the, the, the featured art there. So uh, we know we're standing in front of uh, some of these beautiful pieces. So you have to go out and, and check it out uh, starting now. Go out, go out and see it. And of course, that reception on October the 4th, we'll be sure to put all that information for you at our website, yourcarolina.tv. 